It's been a while since I've done this, but welcome to Addy's Tag Gaming Titan. Some we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Lego has revealed another game they have and in, in their announced trailer. The new game is called Lego DC Super Villains, which will be coming out October the 16th, 2018 for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Switch. The only question is, where are the superheroes? Apparently it's one screenshot. Wonder Woman will be in the game prior to other characters like Darkseid, Reverse Flash, Catwoman and much more. I don't really need to say much on this, but Star Wars Battlefront 2 recently had a hot fix and also with new patch details being out I know, and also from the 1st to the 3rd of June they will be um, giving out the usual crates into the credits S500 and also a victory pose for Finn so if you're interested in that then it should be good for you Kind of for um, Injustice 2 was done but that a new skin from the Batman Ninja film called uh, the Catwoman Ninja Anime 1 is also in Injustice 2 now. And also, I don't know when this happened, but Injustice has now arcade machines of their first game. It's called Injustice Arcade or Injustice Gods Among Us. Now I want to take a second to show you the cards I've got. So, Batman Beyond Animated. Elsewhere, The Flash, Arkham Origins Deathstroke, Wajim Aquaman, Bane, Wajim Wonder Woman, Arkham City Harley Quinn, CW's Arrow Green Arrow, Voiced by Stephen, whatever the name is. More Combat's Scorpion. Blackest Night Batman. Batman. Regine Green Lantern. Black Adam. New 52 Green Lantern. There's a lot. About 20. Regine Catwoman. Lex Luthor. Harley Quinn. Regine Solomon Grande, or Grande, whatever you like to call it. New 52, The Flash. And finally. Man of Steel Superman. Well, considering he wears his style in uh, Batman v Superman and Justice League, you can call him anything you want. So, yeah. Um, yes, it does cost money. In the machine that I went to, which was in Butler's Book Norwegian, it cost about a pound, it did, which was quite worth it. So, you can also buy cards from there. But it's a very good machine if you've got a lot of money to spend and I have. Life is Strange. Now I do want to make a separate video to all news and my thoughts on the Life is Strange 2 and where the direction is going with next because I do quite like this franchise. Now, uh, Life is Strange will be having a comic book. It will be. Now I've forgotten the name of it but it will picture Max and Chloe back once again and it will tell you the end which was the correct ending to the Life is Strange game that came out in 2015 which is finally good because I've wanted to see this in a video game but considering this confirms my theories how this will never be a video game and then yeah many will feel pissed off about this but to me it gives me closure of which ending goes ahead because which ending is the real ending we could talk about it logically but this will take it a step forward and also with the new Life is Strange stuff with Life is Strange 2 it will picture new characters, it will picture many new stuff it will and new stories that's all I've pretty much heard and remembered and also Life is Strange Before the Storm 
recently had another, um, I don't know, a new patch or a new something maybe to fix stuff. I did not know Life is Strange before it still needed the new updates. Apparently it did. I've checked it and it has nothing to do with the content, the episodes. Probably has to do with fixing with certain bugs and stuff in the game. Battlefield 5 or Battlefield V. Now I don't know much about the Battlefield franchise. I heard of the games I have. I know about Call of Duty. I've got one of them. Um, but Battlefield has no games that are well on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One that you can buy and it's not an 18. So, but when this game comes out, I will be 18 now. The game comes out October 16th, and if you pre order it like Star Wars Battlefront 2, you get a beta you do. So I'm guessing the beta will be kind of like beforehand now. They've also said that they'll be doing what they did with Battlefront 2, with free updates, with free content, etc. And virtually no season pass of what I've actually heard. I guess EA is learning from their previous mistakes. Now, am I ever going to buy this? Well... I guess, yeah, really. Um, I will pre order it, I will download the beta because now it seems like Battlefield 5 has that vibe of Star Wars Battlefront 2 with the um, head bar of how many enemies there are, how many of your um, I don't know, people there are. Um, it seems to be very interesting, and I might get into the other, other uh, Battlefield games. Um, I know. Many of you don't like it because I think it's because it doesn't, it's not history correct or there's a woman as one of the main leaders of this and first if you don't like a woman being um, in this game at all, if you don't like playing as one, then all I can really think, uh, and this is coming from a 17 year old, you're sexist you are. And yeah. Uh, to me, these video games are just video games. Uh, a thought on Star Wars Battlefront 2 video will be coming soon. And finally, I want to talk about E3 for a bit. Now, um, E3, um, I've heard a lot of rumours, I've heard a lot of stuff, that apparently the main thoughts of what's going to be shown at E3 is the games that are coming out during this time. Now, maybe uh, all I've heard of is that Star Wars Battlefront 2 may get shown on there, Battlefront, Battlefield uh, 5 may get shown there, Star, uh, Spyro, uh, the Reunited Trilogy may get shown there. Um, I'm not too sure about Crash Bandicoot the end saying for the newer platforms for when it's been released in this year. Um, now, any other ones I've heard, of course I have, but one of the ones that many people are not sure about is that it's Life is Strange, the new game, is any of that going to be said? Is any of the new Batman games going to be said? Is any of the new Superman game going to be said? Anything else about Star Wars going to be said? Well, here's my thoughts on this, and considering when you play around in Game Guru, which is a free, edit free game engine thing, Games, unless you've got a real group of people, I guess you could make a game in a year, but usually it's kind of like, games are, to me, they need more time. If you only spend a year on something, you need at least between a year to three years to work on a game and then decide if you want to release it or not. Most games, like for instance, I think Batman Arkham Asylum took a fairly long time with the cake for stuff. Some games can take up to five years to make. So to say that that other Star Wars game may get shown at 2018's E3, how long have they been working on it? And that's it really. How long have they been working on it? Have they been working on it since last year? They may say something, but or a teaser. But apart from that, I don't think that game's going to come out for the next couple of years. At the moment, all we've got is Star Wars Battlefront 2, and that's virtually it's yeah we've got other games we have like the pimple of last jedi came out um uh minecraft had the last jedi stuff in it but apart from that from what i can think of there's completely nothing else so there thank you guys so much for watching um there's another video that i need to put up but hopefully that should be up by now anyway thank you guys so much for watching and I guess I will see you on the next one. Have a fantastic day or a fantastic weekend. Peace, guys. See ya.